Alex, two of the service members killed in Afghanistan recently were from right here in Riverside County. So you do see a lot of memorials out here. There are flags flying in their honor. And local veterans say they were shocked to find out what happened to one of those displays yesterday. I was offended. Wonder why anybody would do that to a flag. Inside the American Legion Writers Club in Norco, there's a table with 13 beers still poured out for the 13 service members killed in Kabul by suicide bombs. Their sacrifice is remembered every single day at this club. So when veterans saw this on the overpass of the 91 in Riverside. To me, it's disgusting. Former Marine Sean Kane says he couldn't help but feel hurt, shocked, and angry. Everything that's happened is a tragedy, but, but this just... It, you know, put salt in the wound and turns the knife a little bit. Those flags were a memorial for those fallen soldiers. Two of the service members killed were from Riverside County. Those flags were there for a specific reason. Those flags were there to honor the service members who recently died in the line of duty defending the freedoms of the United States and of the U.S. civilians. I just wonder why. Why would you disrespect the American flag? Why would you disrespect those 13 fallen soldiers? What's especially heartbreaking to veterans here is that this was Lance Corporal Kareem Nakui's hometown. They want to know who would vandalize his memorial. We felt it was very disgraceful disrespecting those flags and cutting them down. And honestly, I believe that is pure cowardice in doing that. These people did this without anybody seeing them. Riverside police say they're looking for a suspect and veterans are left stunned. They hope whoever did it understands that this was far more than vandalism. Being upset or you being frustrated, that doesn't mean you should be taking it out on a memorial for fallen service members who just died. It's not free speech to burn the national colors. Anyone who thinks it's just a flag has never suffered for it. And a lot of the veterans we spoke to today say they are noticing more incidents like this happening, which they say is just disheartening. Those flags, by the way, were taken down today and handed over to a local Boy Scout troop for retirement. Reporting live in Norco tonight, Jessica O, Fox 11 News.